Hey everyone, so today I am back with some projects that I have been working on and these were from the honey flower paper that I um, done a flick through earlier on. I will link that video down below for you if you wanted to have a look through this paper pad and what I thought about it. Um, I've used the majority of the sheets. These are the ones that I have left behind. And I have some um, cut pieces like this and some smaller pieces here. So these are the smaller pieces that I have. Ooh, one's there. So that's what I've got left of the paper pad. And um, I want to go through some of the stuff that I've made. So I am still doing some of the decorating. Um, but I will start off with these four cards. So I've made a four cards and um yeah i used the scrap pieces of paper um i also let me point out um used this stamp selection so let me move this over to the side so i actually used this um stamp selection and as you can see it's got the bees it's got some honeycomb i didn't use the honeycomb in this project not the honey the actual home of the bees but then you have the actual pattern of the honeycomb. Um, but yeah, I didn't use that part. But I did use the beehive and the bees. Um, I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> the beehive and the bees in this project is what I came up with. So this is uh, the first card that I made. Actually, let's move these bits to the side. We'll get to those in a second. So I made, um, let's flick through it. So I've just stamped here on some of the scrap white card that I had um, and the B. And then on the B, I had some like little iridescent part in a sequin mix that I was gifted. And I just used those on the wings of the B just to give them um, a little sparkle. I've actually used some sequins along there and um, I've done a little bit of um, mark making around the edge. And I think these came out really well. Um, I'm so happy with them. I've used the same phrase on each one because just to make it more simpler. Um, on this one, I've used green sequins because I just picked out the green from this piece of paper. And this one um, also. And I'm just going to put some little um, diamonds or some little um, pearls maybe in the middle of these flowers i think this is an okay these color suits them really well i'll get some glue just to secure them they are sticky on the back but i like to put a bit of glue just to secure them i made these card from um just some white smooth card and i just cut them down to size i think they are about four inches by four whoops i don't know what that is yeah i think they're about four by four in size and then the last one just put that one on there there you go yeah so that's that one so really happy with the way that they turned out um, I've also made um, this. I've never made one of these before. I have seen them. Again, I used the little stamp from that Prima set. And um, I've just glossy accented it. You can see that one's glossy. I haven't glossy accented this one. And I've stamped it out on the honeycomb paper. Because I thought that would be um, quite cute. And then I had some of these little label type um things that i fussy cut out of from another piece of paper and i'm going to stick that on there as well one there and then this is a little um concertina like envelope so you can put some little embellishments in here some little treats so this one has four pockets as you can see i thought it was super cute and it was super easy to make you can actually make it from your scraps as you can see and um, i just used a little bit of velcro to fasten it together and it makes this little pouch and i think that's really cute to um send some embellishments out to someone in the post so i made one of those 
I also made um, this, which is a little um, album. So I made this from some of the smaller pieces of paper. But I'm again just going to um, stick down the embellishments on my front cover. And I've decided to put um, a little honeycomb on here. And then I have some of these flowers. I picked up these flowers from the range. And I have, um, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. To be honest, um, oh, I haven't even put it so you can see it. So I picked up these flowers from the range. They're pressed flowers and they've got like little leaves. And this is the yellow pack. So I thought that this would go nicely with this project. And I could use this for embellishments. So I just put a little bit of um, glue on there. And stick that down. And then one of these little flowers. Just like that. And this is a little um, book, actually, that can open up. And again, you can put in some of your embellishments or um, it could be like a little album to display. I'm just looking for a little paper clip. This was gifted to me. From the lovely Jess. I'll just use that on the corner there. Just to hold it together. But then it makes a little display. I don't know if you're seeing this. So each little um, segment has a tiny little um, black pocket. And then you can put your little embellishments in there. Or your little tag for journaling. Just going to put these little pieces of paper. So you can see your little tags in there or you might have some little pieces that you want to gift but that was super cute and i made that from the um little different little um from the different patterns of paper there so i don't know if you're getting to see that and then it simply just folds it up and then goes back into a neat little booklet and i thought that was super sweet could be um something nice to gift some of your embellishments it would have to be super flat embellishments more like tags i think it's more better if you it if it was some tags and then um the person who received it could put some photos actually on this and then maybe it could sit it's small enough to be able to sit on a little desk and then you could turn it um to the different photos or memories that you want to each day so a different side is being shown i thought that was super cute idea so and again it's just been held by some little pieces of velcro so that was another idea that i um, made with this paper pad and then the last idea that i actually made was this little um album so again i've got one of these little tags to stick on so i love making these little tiny albums um i think they're super cute and um you know they're really easy to store some of your memories in and they don't take up too much space and so yeah i just love making them so this is the one that i decided to go with i love this gray paper um that was in the pack it was my i think i'll say it's my second favorite one and then um i've also attached a tag to the end here and I showed you before these little dangles that I made. And then um, I've actually tried, well, I haven't had to do much um, in terms of this dangle because um, the chain was already formed. And then the charms, I just added on um, a jump ring onto each piece so that I could attach it. And then um, I've got one of these like um, lobster cl clasps to hold it on at the top where I have um, punched the hole. So yeah, I've used, I tried to be a bit ingenious because to be honest with you, I made the album and I didn't really think about how I wanted it to um, to be held together. So this um, little bead um, holding um, little closure 
um it was kind of an afterthought so yeah i don't know how practical it is but it looks really pretty against the paper there so i'm really happy with the way that it looks so let's open it up it's not decorated on the inside because i thought that i would leave it i normally go overboard with the decorating every anyway but what i have done is i've um put a little pocket here and that will be able to hold some tags or some paper or some journaling about something maybe a day out and then i've left spaces for photos um these actually come out here for some more um photos and journaling i've just put a um, white mat on both sides and then they slot nicely in there and then so you've got on each page a white side and a yellow color colored side and i've used the textured paper there from precision cardstock so that one was really super i just love this paper because it gives it i don't know it just get, makes it brings it up a bit than just using the smooth paper and then as each one has its own little pull out and they're all the same and there's four pages so what's that is that eight sides two four six yeah you've got eight sides and then on the back i've just done a um little belly band and again you can put a journaling card or something like that there um i might put some pieces of paper so the person that i give this to can um make some tags or something or i might um yeah make some little bits for themselves um for this and then then we're on the back and i've just literally just stuck this on um the pearl um trim and it just hooks over like that and then it forms a class i've given it a little slack in case the album needs to grow a little bit but i think it's more or less um as big as it's gonna be to this i just want to add um this from those dried flower paper pads so those are the bits that i've just added on there to decorate the front of my little album absolutely love the way that this turned out um so yeah those were all the projects that i've made with that paper pad oh and i didn't mention so i got these little bee charms from sheen um when i was ordering some other little bits and i added this to my um order and they are just these little cute little diamante beads and some little honeycomb honeycomb edged in gold and i think those were super cute i think you got two four yeah you got six of each piece so um yeah i picked those up from sheen so these are the projects that i made with that beautiful paper pad um let me know which project was your favorite um if don't forget guys if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and to click the notification bell so you will know when i next upload my videos thank you for watching guys enjoy the weather we're actually due to have some sunny weather over the next coming week so i'll see you in the next video bye